In this video we're going to be dealing with the situation of dealing with outliers. And to do that we're going to use the data, sorry, the analyze, descriptive statistics, and explore option. And I've already moved the variables over that we'll be looking at. So our income 2, which we created earlier, will go in the dependent list. And <clears throat> satisfaction with job 2, sat job 2, will go to the factor list. And don't forget, you got to right click and look at the variable names to see this list. Okay, now we click on statistics and we want to make sure that outliers is selected. That one is not selected by default because that's what we're trying to find. And if you look at plots, these are the types of graphs that will be generated. Uh, stem and leaf plot is what we want and that's already selected. You can click continue <clears throat> and click OK. Then there's our descriptive statistics. There's our list of extreme values. So these are the case numbers and the values associated with them. And if you look at these stem and leaf plots, uh, we can see the extremes there as well, or the frequency of the extremes. And if we come down to the box plots, uh, the box and whisker plots, that is, you can see where these extreme cases fall outside of the, the variation of the group. And that's by definition what an outlier is. So that's how we can detect outliers for continuous variables.